I'm Nicole Poole. And I'm Ian Bjorklund. And this is Thrift Store Confidential. We're continuing our exclusive web series today at the Chelsea Goodwill Store on 25th Street in Manhattan. We're going to be giving you some great tips on how to buy men's and women's blazers in a thrift store. Yay. Well, let's get started. Let's go in. This is going to be a good store. I can feel it. Oh, yeah, I can feel right? it, too. Uh, but I will say that uh, walking into a thrift store can be a little overwhelming for your average thrift store virgin. Well, it can be. However, we're going to show you how to think like a thrift store veteran. So I'm going to go to women's blazers. I'm going to men's blazers. And we're going to get started. Mwah! The fun things about shopping in thrift stores is that items aren't really arranged in a discernible way. So you're not going to be able to go, oh, that's really cute. Do you have this in a six? Oh. Anyone? That's a joke. Yeah, they're not going to have it in your size in the back. So you're going to get to engage in your hunter-gatherer instincts. I like to just start going through the racks like crazy and seeing what looks like it might be cute. Oh, that's J. Crew. That's really cute. What might be cute for Look at that what might be cute for me and what might fit. And I start going for the goodie grab bag. And I just pile a bunch of stuff on and then I try on and narrow things down. So I'm going to grab a few things. We'll go see how Ian's doing with the men's stuff. And we'll be back and I'll see if I can show you a few little things. Back in a minute. Something I try and always do as I'm looking for blazers is go for fabric, go for touch. So once you've found colors or designs you like, feel them. Is this something you want to wear? Is this something you want touching your skin? This definitely is. It's a beautiful Michael Kors classic blue blazer. Everyone needs one in their wardrobe. Everyone. Doesn't matter what you do. This is your grandfather's Oldsmobile. Okay, a Garo jacket, beautiful pinstripes. Do you need pinstripes in your in your blazer collection, right? Oh, we're pinstripes. getting... Pinstripes. I just found a Giorgio Armani pinstripe men's Ooh. jacket. Ooh. See? Oh, wow. How do you tell the sizes? Sizes? Well, generally, you're just looking because something to remember at a thrift store is a lot of people have had their suits or blazers tailored. So it's a guideline. But generally, you're going to be poking into here <gasps> and looking for that little tag that's been ripped off that had the size <laughs> on it. Okay. Sometimes so, but it's so usually either. they're in the pocket? Usually they're tucked <gasps> in the pocket. But then usually you also just do this and go, oh, look, it's Armani, but it doesn't fit me in the slightest, oh. so oh. do I make it work? Oh, come on. We can do the Shatner. Oh, the Shatner. <laughs> <laughs> or not. What do you think? Good luck? I'm ready for a job interview. <laughs> <laughs> bing, bing, bing. <laughs> You're pretty. You're pretty. You look nice. Okay. I'll try on some really small things so that you <laughs> feel bad. So sometimes keep an open mind. And sometimes as you're looking, you start going, oh my god, nothing is fitting me well. Let me just go for the biggest thing I can find. Here's an example of why the biggest thing you can find isn't always the best thing you can find. But sometimes it's good to try on the huge things because then you're like, well, at least I'm too thin for this. So I'm sitting here going through blazers, and as you may have noticed, I have changed my shirt because I realized wearing a sweatshirt while trying on blazers, not so conducive to finding the correct fit. Luckily, thrift stores, dress shirts. So I'm wearing a lovely Nordstrom shirt that someone I'm sure paid a mint for, and I'm going through blazers. And I think I may have found a lovely corduroy that is going to fit me well. Why don't I step around and we'll see. So, here is said brown corduroy blazer. Seems to fit. Here's a good trick. John, if you could go to my cuffs here, you'll see if I fold my fingers up, the tips of my finger reach just to there. It's a great way to know you have the right length. Look, I'm looking at my watch, and the cuff of my shirt pops out. It's perfect. It fits well. I may have to buy this for myself. You look really hot. No, hot. I mean, oh. <laughs> I'm a little schwitzy, but evidently she thinks it's kind of sexy. Hey, you look great. Jacket. I like this. Okay. What is it, like fourteen ninety nine? I think it is. And it comes with pants? It comes with pants. Oh, not bad. Fourteen ninety nine. Let's go see what she's found. 
Okay. I've got my goody grab bag here, and I'm going to try on a few things, and Ian's going to have to be my mirror because I don't have a mirror here with me. But this is like, you know, all of the blazers are, I think, 12 to 14.99, and sometimes there are sales. This is something, for instance, I probably wouldn't have gone shopping for originally, but now that I try it on, I think, oh my gosh, with little heels and jeans and a little t-shirt, this is going to be great to go running to the supermarket. Well, in Manhattan, we run to the deli, but if I had a supermarket nearby, I would totally put this on with heels and go running there. Now this, I want this to fit so bad, and I think it's not going to. It's a Diane von Furstenberg, and I'm going to lie and say it's a size 2, <laughs> so that when it's really too tight, I'm not going to feel too terrible about it. When in fact it's really a size 0, and she doesn't want to offend anyone on, her, <laughs> on the internet. That's totally what's going to, yeah. Oh, I want it to fit so bad. It's only $20, and it's a Diane von Furstenberg, so there's going to be some skinny woman. Well, I was just going to say rule number 637 about thrifting is that you never buy it to fit later. It's a thrift store. It fits now, or it stays. Yeah, and I could saw off my rib cage, and this still wouldn't fit. There's going to be some skinny young thing that's going to go, Oh, it's a Diane von Furstenberg. Oh, it's a little big. Let her have it, I say. I've got other options here, but it's only 20 bucks. Oh, here we go. I don't know if, the, if this is going to fit, but this is a Tahari. And a little black blazer is really, really useful for your wardrobe because you can dress it up, you can dress it down. This one's got a couple of little frills here. It might be a little bit big on me right here, but it'll give you an idea. You can, if it's got a pretty lining, you can roll the sleeves up and rock it with jeans and a t-shirt. You can wear it with slacks. You can wear it with anything. Uh, and it's a great way to add a little bit of structure to an outfit. So this is going to be, oh, it's got a yellow tag, so I think it's $14.99. All right, one more thing. If you're not shopping for a blazer, donate a blazer because one blazer equals 15 minutes of resume preparation and Goodwill's job training programs. Think about that for a minute. But I'm thinking about this blazer. It's kind of cute. So we've been thinking about moving Nicole to Miami later in life, and we were thinking this jacket might be something to start the moving collection in. Okay, now I'd like to say this is actually kind of cute. It's not really my size, but for spring, if you throw this on with a little bag and some jeans and a t-shirt or something, it's actually kind of kicky. And, uh, oh, it's got a red tag. I think it's $14.99. Pater. <laughs> Now this little jacket, I'm actually pretty excited about. It's a Banana Republic, and it's a lovely, lightweight, all-season wool. And what's great about this little guy is that it's going to go with anything. You can wear this for an interview. You can wear it kind of kicky with rolled up sleeves for a night out with the girls. You can wear it with a little camisole and some big chunky jewelry for date night. It's n maybe not something that you would have been looking for initially, but this is a fantastic addition to a wardrobe and it's $14.99. Keep your mind open. Now, I just kind of grabbed onto this as I was going by because it's a J. Crew. Even though it's J. Crew and I'm going to want to love it, not all cuts look good on me, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> Some things um, are going to make me look like a, a handkerchief discarded after a very, very sad movie. And that's one of them. What? It's, yeah, 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 it's, it's yeah. just not me. But I, but I wouldn't know that unless I tried it on. So you at least have to get in and try things on. Oh, I feel frumpy. Thank you. <laughs> <I don't> it's <laughs> okay. the coat, not you. <laughs> okay. I love the whole sweatshirt idea, but a lot of the things that I pick out makes it look like I've just given up. <laughs> so I like to try to find comfortable fabrics, but in kind of bits of structure. So I'm not sure how this looks, but this might be a fun little thing to uh, throw on with a little tight pair of jeans or something and run to the, run to anywhere, really. Anyway, so this is a lovely thing. It still has its tags on, and this thing, I think, is 12 or 14.99. Not bad. So as I was looking through blazers, I started talking with another Nicole, who is the new, what's her title here? Assistant manager. She's the new assistant manager here at Goodwill, and she has been madly straightening blazers as I've been madly going through them. And she hasn't been annoyed with me. She's been great. <coughs> so how long have you been working here? I've been working here for over a month now. Okay. And I really, really like it here. 
What's your favorite thing about working here? Uh, I love organizing and I pretty much do that all day long. <laughs> So, I am standing here talking with Elizabeth, and Elizabeth has been working with Goodwill for how long? Eight years, probably. Come on in to Goodwill. Do a little shop, and you're going to meet a bunch of wonderful people like Elizabeth here. Come on in. And we're pleasure to help and serve you. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you. So, as long as you're looking at blazers, what goes with a blazer better than a tie? And for men, there's almost no better deal at a thrift store than ties. I have a bunch of Armani's here. I have Polo Ralph Lauren. I have Brooks Brothers. These are all ties that retail for $100 or more, or $150. How do I shop for a tie? Well, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find something that's clean, something that looks fresh and uh -huh. new, something like this. Okay. Great shape, yep. stain-free. You can look down here. See that it's well made, everything is still put together, and odds are, as I'm looking at the seaming and the usage, this is a tie that someone never wore, and it's an $80 or $90 tie, the All Silk uh, Makers line from Brooks Brothers, $399. We're here with Vivian Ferrone, and you tell me your title here. I'm the store manager. Fantastic. Yes, it is. And you've got a background in retail. I do. Tell me some of your favorite items that have come through here. Beautiful Christian Dior uh, shoes. Uh, we have a lot of Prada hats and and uh, ties. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, pretty much everybody donates to Goodwill. Yes. They do. That's and we're great. very, very happy that they do because that helps all our programs. So do you, you have people shopping in here who have never come to thrift stores before? Correct. And what's their experience like? Um, when they walk in through the door, they actually don't even realize that this place could be as beautiful as it is because I'm very proud of the way Goodwill had decorated it. And we try to keep it as, as nice as possible. They choose a lot of things and they do buy a lot. And you're hands-on helping people and Absolutely. telling them, yep. yeah, that looks great on you, yep. or let me help you with that. Yep. Wow, that's lovely. And if it doesn't look good, I'm very honest with that, too. I should have had you over here earlier when <laughs> I was trying these on. <laughs> so here we are at the end of our shopping extravaganza. What'd you I'm, get? I'm sticking with this lovely brown corduroy suit I and a that on you. fist full of Armani and Brooks Brothers ties. What'd you get? Well, that's a mouthful. He's got the mother load of ties here. That's amazing. Um, I am getting a couple, oh. my, my little schmata jacket. This is actually, I don't know if you can see it or not. It needs a little bit of care. And here's a little laundry tip. This is 100% cotton, and it is washable. If you get biz bleach, and they're not giving me money for this yet, it's just a really good product. If you soak this in biz bleach or any cotton that's a little bit dingy, Soak it in there for three or four hours and then run it through the wash like normal. This is going to just be sparkling. It's amazing. I'm also getting the Great Little Banana Republic jacket, which I thought looked really, really cute. I was satisfied with that. One of the things that you need to know about Goodwill is that in 2009 alone, Goodwill helped over 155,000 unemployed people get a good job. So I'm not just buying blazers. He's not just buying a fistful of ties. We are helping out the community. Well, once again, thank you for shopping with us. I'm Ian Bjorkland. And I'm Nicole Poole. This is Thrift Store Confidential. I love Miami. I love the elderly. Really. Oh. You're looking for different things. You're looking for casual. Don't just think work. Don't just think church. Don't just think AA meeting. Think about the fun times going to what? Huh? No, that's all fun. It's all fun. Mm -hmm. Is this where we say goodbye? I think so. Okay. Goodbye. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs>